Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would share a full face of makeup which I would do had I to go for office or work every single day. This is something you can wear to the movies, to the to a lunch date, to to anything. It's basically for me it includes a full face of glam, but it's very easy to do, very quick to do, easy to blend. And also it's all affordable makeup so you can use it on a daily basis so if you want to know how uh, I would get dressed if I had work every day then please keep on watching okay guys so the steps are going to remain the same this is just an everyday routine so it's going to be super super quick and super super easy uh, and every product I'm using has to be affordable because if I was going to office or wearing makeup to polish on a daily basis I wouldn't want to use my expensive Fenty Beauty foundation like all of that expensive stuff has to be like for shawty and better occasions so I'm going to use affordable products you can use whatever you have or want to uh, but everything I'm using is tried, tested and loved by me it's affordable yet very very good so let's start the first step has to be primer where is my primer at yet so for primer I'm using the Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer it's been a while since I've used this but I do genuinely really love it even today it has a very moussey kind of texture and it blends and sinks right into the skin and blurs out your pores for a real one okay so for foundation I'm using the Nykaa Beauty Skin Shield uh, Triple Action Formula Foundation I've done a dedicated review on this and this is a great everyday basis foundation I hate taking foundation on my hand but uh, I have to do that with this one. I can't really do the drip drip thing. Taking a little bit of my hand. It's medium to full coverage. Very easy and very quick to blend. And this is one of my favorite shade matches in my foundation collection. The only thing is it's not very camera friendly but then again this is an everyday makeup tutorial. I stay clear of the eye region totally uh, maybe I take it a little closer down but not on top at all because I am going to apply concealer here and I am going to leave this there for concealer I am using my Trident Show LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade medium beige so now for college or like office purpose I wouldn't do heavy concealing so just taking a little bit underneath the eyes little on the bridge a little on the top and around my mouth for the hyperpigmentation. What I was left over, I just cut my cheekbones with that. You quickly just blend it all in with your same sponge. Okay, so usually when I do like a full face of glam, I do apply concealer on my top lid so that I prep it for eyeshadow. But when you're going to college or office, you won't really use eyeshadow. So I try to keep it bare. So once my full face makeup is done, it will just have the natural brown skin color of mine and look like just naturally well defined. For powder, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. Taking it on the e.l.f. powder brush, just lightly dusting it all over the face. No baking, nothing. I am oily skin so I try to powder my entire face uh, if you are dry skin you can just stick to the area that you have concealed because the Nykaa foundation doesn't really need setting for bronzer I am using my Colourpop Cosmetics bronzer this is in the shade Rodeo Drive and this is what it looks like taking the pat to one four brush and very very lightly just bronzing my whole face going in the most gross way possible when you're dealing with makeup on an everyday basis you should make sure all the products you're using are very easy to blend so that they don't take a lot of time to blend or remain patchy or take you a lot of struggle in the mornings when you're leaving for work for blush, I'm using the Savannah Colors Blusher. This is in the number 08 and it's a nice peachy pink blush. You can totally go very very ham with a blush and not use bronzer. 
but I personally do not like my face without bronzer and just blush so I try to use all the steps but I try to do them very 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 fast like just did 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 and I'm done quickly taking the Nykaa Beauty Glow Getter Highlighters this is in the shade Literati one of my favorite highlights ever you don't want to be too glowy for office so just make sure you're hitting the points just go over your cheekbones your nose and your cupid's bow and just leave it that's it don't be too blingy for office this is a great everyday highlight just add that glow so that you don't look very powdered down and very matte and then now this is the entire full face makeup done so we can just set it so using the next dewy finishing setting spray we can set this face in place You want this makeup to last you through your 2 to 2 hours train journey or taxi journey and also 8 hours of work so you have to set it in place no matter which steps you're doing make sure you're using a setting spray at the end and then just pick up any excess product with your sponge which is what you do every time you do your makeup and your setting spray so your skin will look natural glowy it has makeup but it's very everyday ish Now for the eyes it's very uh, personal some people just like mascara some people just like eyeliner some just like kajal some like kajal and mascara everybody has their own preference i used to be just a kajal person but later on i realized that kajal on a daily basis stings my eye a lot and also um, like after i wash my face it doesn't completely go away and gives me sort of a dark circle appearance so i've totally skipped kajal from my everyday routine and now added eyeliner So I do the eyeliner and mascara combination, and if I have time, I just go ahead with a nude eyeliner underneath, which I will show you all in this video. Uh, so my eyes just look more poppy and bright uh, as compared to Chini, which I usually most often look. So I am now using the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. It has a felt tip, so it's very very easy to use. So you can go very quickly with this. Now morning time, nobody has time for uh, wings. So I just end it at the end of my eyes. If you want to switch things up a bit and make it a little fun on the casual days at work or maybe to the mall or something, you can just use a colored eyeliner. I have mostly all the colors from the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner range and they are amazing. So you can try those. I try to use the red one, sometimes the lavender one and just switch things up. so that they look a little more fun but it's still the same makeup just with a nice colored eyeliner now for the lower lash line like i was saying if i have time i go in with a nude eyeliner this is the colourpop uh, creme gel liner and this is in the shade honey dude a nude kajal will only help to pop up your make your eyes look very popped and open and wide in the morning even if you've not slept well Now for mascara I'm adding my Essence Lash Princess mascara. I love this stuff. There's no mascara like this one. I know it's out of stock on Nykaa for the longest time. It's even out of stock in the international markets. But just today, just now I saw Trend Mood's story on Instagram and she said that it's been revamped and relaunched in the US. So I'm pretty sure it will come back on Nykaa once the stock comes to India. So hold your horses for that and the minute it comes grab it because I love this stuff. Anybody who goes abroad, I tell them to check if it's still available in the markets and just grab as many as they possibly can. I love it. Now if you want to curl your lashes you can, but I possibly never can remember to do them and never have the time to do them. And this mascara works great that way because it's so uh, curling and holds your curl in place. And it's a washable mascara so you don't have to struggle with the waterproof for uh, rubbish at the end of the day where your mascara is not coming off and you're making your eyelashes fall off your eyes removing the mascara so uh, use a washable one for daily basis uh, even if it's the rainy season because like i've never found my mascara running down my face because i'm wet in the rains so yeah just don't rub your eyes oh yeah if you're a rubbing eye kind of person don't use mascara on a daily basis because sometimes when i wear it to college I rub my eyes so badly and it spreads really horribly. So then you just do your eyeliner and kajal and move on. Okay, so my eyes are all done. I'll just fill in my eyebrows very quickly. You don't need to do that. See, I have very full eyebrows, but when you do a full face of makeup, your eyebrows look really weird. 
So some people though desperately need eyebrows, even I desperately need eyebrows. I feel like it completes my face. This is the Miss Clay eyebrow pencil. Just filling it in. I don't really need to draw and carve out my brows and stuff like that. So I'll just fill it in. This is in the shade dark brown. So now the last step is just lipstick and now for my favorite lipstick of the moment or of the month it's the Nykaa Matelicious Lip Crayon in this shade Jade Rose. It has been my current favorite. It's a very pretty nude for everyday basis. So this is it. This is what my everyday makeup looks like. This is what I would wear. If I was an office going person, I would definitely wear this or if I was in a commerce arts college, I would wear this much makeup and go to college. Okay, I go to med school and if I go like this to the hospital, people are going to judge me too much and it's not about the people, it's just that patients will be very very uncomfortable. So I don't do this but I do this like to the malls, to the movies, if I'm going out for a dinner or a lunch, this is that kind of makeup for me. You can skip and eliminate whichever step is fine with you like I have a lot of scarring so for me foundation is important but uh, if you are more of a dark circle person you can go ahead for concealer powder and just roll with it uh, if you are just like very very confident in your skin you can just apply primer lipstick and mascara which is what I do if I have to go down to meet a friend so uh, you can have different routines and switch it up this is what I would do so I'm just sharing this with you all. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all liked it. It was very quick and once you get used to it, you get very, very fast. Your hands get used to it. I, if I was personally in office, I would like to get up 20 minutes earlier to do this and look a little more presentable at work. And if you're late, you can just do it in the cab. So I hope you all liked this video. Hit the like button. If you all did, hit the subscribe button. If you're new here, join the family and hit the bell icon so that you're notified every Sunday when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, take care, love you all. Mwah.